Do you know who this is? Of course not. It's my uncle. And do you know who this is? Neither do I. I work for the Human Resources Department at a local engineering firm. I also just applied for another job at a far more prestigious agency. In that interview, I was pretty confident I'd get the job. I knew exactly how this process worked since I'm usually on the other side of the table interviewing candidates just like myself at my current firm. The interviewers told me that I and one other individual were the strongest candidates. I'm pretty sure I'll beat them out. Not only because I killed the interview, but because I also have my ways. Every night before I sleep, I try to read a few pages from the biography of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I've always found his life fascinating. In fact, before I got busy with work, I used to attend weekly classes about his life and used to feel like it was as if he was in front of me teaching me how to live. Even if Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad, stole, I would punish him. Fear Allah and do justice amongst your children. Seven people will be shaded by Allah. The first of them, a just rule. Now I remember him. He was the guy that applied for a job at my firm last year. I knew he was qualified. I knew I should have picked him. But I overlooked him and instead chose one of my friends from high school. Come to think about it, I interviewed them both the same day. My friend was clearly less qualified but I nominated him to the executive committee and he was employed. This number is no longer in service. How am I supposed to reach this guy? I hope he still has the same address. Oh Allah, help me find him. Oh Allah, I beg you to forgive me for being unfair. I've never realized how difficult this would be until I was in a similar position waiting to hear back. He didn't remember me at first, but eventually I refreshed his memory. I begged for his forgiveness and told him that the job was once again vacant. And if he reapplied, I would be sure to nominate him to the committee with the highest of recommendations. After a moment of silence, he said, you know, I have to ask, why now? What suddenly awaked your conscience? Muhammad, the prophet of God. We need to read about his life and challenge our own vices with his principles, to read about his sense of justice, to read about how when Usama bin Zayd came to intercede on behalf of a powerful woman, he responded by saying that even if his own beloved daughter Fatima stole, he would treat her no different. We have to read about his call to establish justice, be it against our own family members and even against ourselves at times. His call to uphold justice and equality for all of the children of Adam. All of you are from Adam, and Adam was from dirt. There is no difference between one who is white and one who is black, except in piety. As for that new job that I had applied for that I was sure I would get because I had my ways, particularly my uncle being the manager of that company, who already guaranteed me the job, he told me to meet him at Asr prayer that day. I was shocked, disappointed, and staggered. He chose the other candidate because he said he was more qualified. He explained to me how difficult it was for him to overlook me even though I was his own nephew, but he felt he had to be fair. As disappointed as I was, I told him I was proud of him, and I was. Our Prophet taught us that everyone should have their rights. 
and that everyone should be given a fair opportunity to succeed in this life and the hereafter. Rasulullah, you never wronged anyone or allowed anyone to be wronged in your presence. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika an adilla aw udal aw azilla aw uzal aw adlima aw udlam aw ajhala aw yujhala alayya. 